you're about to catch a glimpse of the exact part of the world where I grew up. This place is my old stomping ground, and I know it well. And since this month is actually my birthday month, I thought it'd be great to pay the place another visit. Haven't been here in a while. As you can see, the weather turned out magnificently. And in just a few minutes, we'll arrive at one of the best fish and chip takeaway stores in the area. Can't wait. And here we are, this exact spot. I spent many years as a young lad flying kites, riding BMX bikes, getting chased by legions of soldier crabs and exploring the shallows all the way out there to the open ocean. But then the best part was heading home to play with the slot cars. So a couple of weeks back we put this track light together, but this week we're going to do the super cheap auto gantry. Now if you're not here for yet another model build, don't worry, I'm going to whip through this nice and quick. This is my last magnetic racing kit, at least for the time being, so I thought I'd put a bit of extra effort into it and uh, spend some more time with the painting. Now here I've already assembled the first part of the frame, and here's the second part. And I'm attaching the two together just like that. And there it is. There's our framework already done. Told you I'd whip through it. And I know I've said it before, but I really love the architecture of these things. This is a tricky piece to fit. So in there first. Good fit. Everything lines up. Very nice. Yep, even the family pet bird approves. He actually watches very carefully while I'm putting these things together. I think he enjoys it more than I do. And that leaves the end piece, which just sits in position. Glue all around. Oh, stick it to my fingers. Get it on nice and square. Press it in. Looks pretty good. Good old gravity will hold it in place. Let the glue dry. And indeed it does. All over my bloody fingers. I'm getting good at removing super glue. Steel wool's the best. Hurts a little bit, but it works. And so with that complete, it's time to go outside to the professional spray painting booth. I've gone and gotten myself some more of this Duramax paint since it worked out so well on the Ferris wheel. First off, I'm painting all the silver components and then I'll do the other things. Not them, they're just here to cheer me on. Now I've got some red and yellow, hot lips and dandelion. Here's the other components, and as you can see, I've already dived in and got them done. And speaking of done, I think I'm done using those acrylic paints. These are so much better. Now with the base, I've spread some PVA glue, and now I'm applying some model railway gravel or ballast, brown ballast, but it, it looks very gravelly. Spreading it around, getting the finger in there. Bit more, dab, 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 dab. Dribble, dribble, spread, spread. Dab, dab. And while that kind of starts to dry, I'm going to glue the little fence barriers in place. Here we go. Just like that. Too easy. Love the silver paint. And to save you the torture of watching me putting one on, and then another one, and then another one, here's the finished item. Next, fine turf. I'm going to sprinkle it on with my wife's teaspoon. Don't tell her I used it. Well, I bet I better better make sure it's well cleaned and there's not a trace otherwise. I'll be doing the dishes every night for the next year. Yes, yeah, I'm still in trouble after the toothbrush. Yeah, don't ask. But here's the finished result. Well, so far, I'm going to use a little mixture of one part PVA, one part water and a few squirts of isopropanol alcohol. I've got my little syringe and it's just a matter of saturating it all with the, the mixture, as you can see. Everywhere, even the gravel. So we want to get it really saturated. It'll take a few hours to dry. And this stuff should stay put. 
And yes, Doug, I'm not going to do the gag about the West End brothel, so you won't have to spit your coffee out again. I know, I'm very considerate, but I'd sure hate to be the cleaner at one of those places. Yuck. Oh, God. Anyway, we're applying the mixture. We're getting good, even overall coverage. And even on these tricky edges as well. We'll clean it up later once it all dries. And I'll also have to scrape a little bit away where the structure attaches to the base itself. But there you have it, all done. And we'll just put it aside and let it dry. While that's happening, I'm going to work on the logos themselves. I've pretty much pre-painted everything, and now it's just a matter of assembling it all. The super cheap auto colours are red, black and yellow, while all the lettering is just plain white. It'll all look pretty good once it all comes together, but as usual it's, it's, it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, fitting all the pieces together. And look at this, my Shell Helix car seems to have pretty much the same colour scheme. And Raul there is keeping me company during the build. I'll just glue these parts on now and I'll, I'll add all the lettering last. You can do it in any order you like really, but uh, yeah, I'm doing it like this. Really happy with these colours, those Dulux cans of spray paint are really, really good. Very happy with those. Not so much the white acrylic, it took about three coats before I was happy with it. Uh, the little boxes at the base of the uh, gantry, I've painted one red, one yellow. I think it works well with the signage, as you can see here. And so, all done. I think this is the best result I've gotten to date on any of these kits. I'm very happy with the overall colour, build quality and the execution. I've already installed it on the layout. I chose a spot where a Marshall post was previously. I think this looks better in this location. What do you think? I'm going to add a few little trees either side, maybe some little shrubs. Added a couple there as you can see next to the little boxes. And uh, yeah, I'm really thrilled with that one. Turned out great. And I believe I might have heard the courier roll up outside. Ah, must be new on the job. Oh well. Ooh, show us your package. Wow! Now, what we have here are the results of a bit of uh, sleepless night internet surfing. Uh, I found myself a couple of bargains, and they were just too good to let go. I had to swoop, so I, I made them mine. And here they are. One's from Germany, and the other is from... I forget. Somewhere. So, will I open this one first? What is that? Pure graffiti paint? I didn't order any graffiti paint. Made in Europe. Aerosol. What is this? I, I don't know what that is. Let's have a look inside. Ah, this, is, this is very curious. It's not what I thought it was. Oh, yes it is. It's what I thought it was. They've just put in a different box. This is the one that's from wherever. And I can't, can't seem to get the... the it what? Come out, you bloody... Come out the box, you buggery... Oh! <sighs> Take a breath. Take a deep breath. Let's just... Yeah, do that. Cut it. Let's use some Kung Fu on this thing and rip it apart. Hua! Okay, we did it. Thank you, Bruce Lee. And many of you have already figured out which one it is. You can see that colour from space, I believe. Pretty impressive, actually. And for those of you who don't know which one it is, a little drum roll. It is... The KTM Crossbow. No, it's not the Expo. It's not a place where you go and put up stalls and show you stuff. It's a crossbow, like the medieval weapon. It's dangerous, it's sleek, and it'll get you if you don't watch out. The crossbow. It, it is called crossbow, right? It's not expo, crossbow. I'm sure it's crossbow. And now for my next trick, we're going to open this one from Germany. And hopefully it's what I think it is. And not a aerosol can. Drum roll. 
Yeah, here we go. There's uh, not much in here. What's this? Oh, it's an actual piece of German newspaper. That's cool. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can read it. I reckon that says something about Russia. It's a big fist. Russia ag Russia being aggressive. I think it's a big fist. You, you will do what I say. Uh, can't really read that on the other side. What's that? It looks like a normal newspaper like you'd see anywhere. I just, just can't understand the language. I should learn that language someday. Yeah, well, that's mm. fascinating. A bit of German newspaper. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, that good. Um, now, what did we get? What did we actually get in this, this package? Are we going to have another drum roll? I like that part. No? No drum roll. Oh, we, we, we already did it, didn't we? It is my next project car. Okay, this is another one of those dummy cars with no engine, no braids, no guide, no chip. And uh, after watching George at Area 51, I wanted to get myself a little project car. I'm going to do all sorts of tricks with it. I might even take a Dremel tool to the thing. But let's have a look at this crossbow first. Look at that paintwork. That is shiny and iridescent, I guess, the uh, the orange is. Probably isn't sharp as, as glowy on camera as it is in real life, but this thing, this will blind you. You've got to be careful. Now this thing, this is some sort of a Camaro, I believe. It's an older Carrera car. You can still get them, but these were going cheap and this was the last one, so I grabbed it. Hey, look, you can remove the magnets from the outside. That's cool. Yeah, the tires we won't be able to replace, I don't imagine. They're big, fat things. But what I'll do is, yeah, this is going to be a fun car, a drift car. It's not going to be the fastest car in the garage, that's for sure. But drifting is what we shall do. It should be a great fun project to do. And as per George's instruction, I might take a Dremel tool to it and get a bit of, what do they call it, float. Yeah, that sounds cool. Going to enjoy that one. Now, I'm extremely curious about this car, this uh, KTM Crossbow. I, a few reviews people have sort of crapped on about it, saying it's not a very good car, it's the worst car out of the box from Cabrera. Let's see what the truth is. Let's give it a run. Well, I'll tell you what, I've certainly had worse. It's it's probably one of the better cars out of the box. Um, it's holding this track really well. Whoa. Little slippy slidey here and there, but really, it's pretty darn good. Ooh. Little slippy slidey, but actually not too bad at all. Yeah, so... Not too bad. Very nice livery. Glow in the dark orange is amazing. That's a thumbs up from me. Cool. And now it's time for our second subscriber spotlight. This week it's Dave Volk from Inala, Queensland. Dave's been a subscriber to the channel for some time and you might recall not so long ago he took the trouble to submit a recreation of my layout. Probably the most accurate of all of them actually. And now we get to see his own layout which looks bloody fantastic. This is a Carrera digital based layout and just like Brian's last week he's managed to get that authentic raceway look which again I, I, I haven't managed to do. Mine's all over the place. But some very impressive attention to detail and check out this main straight in the pit lane. Look at that building. I love that. That's fantastic. So great job Dave and thanks so much for sharing that with us. And if you'd like to have your layout featured on Subscriber Spotlight, send me some best pics of your layout, including one with you in it. You'll find my email address in the description. Now let's kick back and enjoy Three, Family two, Race Night. One, go. Oh, no! <laughs> I crashed the McLaren. Right. We'll race 
start. We're good? Where am I? I'm stuck. Where are you? Oh no, you paused it then. Here we go, reset, restart, I mean. Three, two, one, go!
motion. Um, oh, can you run around or will I? Um, I can't reach the spoiler. It's over there. <laughs> Hang on, I've got a little grabber Heavy hidden brush. under the table. Let's see, this is like using chopsticks in, in that restaurant. I'm not very good at chopsticks. Oh, look at that. Put that over there. Do you want your spoiler on or off? Um, on. On. Oh, it's broken off. Yeah, this, this broke off. So the glue, I'll have to glue it on. So you're going to do it spoilerless. No problem. It well, it actually broke for no reason. There was no collision. It was just doing laps one day, pulled in, and where's the spoiler? And it just come off. Snapped off. I don't know. There's no explanation. All right, continue the race. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Where am I? There I am. Because the software is just doing nothing, as, uh -huh. as, so as software do does. So I'm just going to hit the reset button. I'm going to go back, open my new race. Please confirm. Yes. It'd be nice to have one button. Now you got to do this, that, this, that. All right, I think this is set. You ready? This is the real. This is the race. We've had a warm up. We've lost a spoiler. This is the real thing. Third time lucky. Third time lucky. All right, here we go. This is the big family race of the season. Woo! Here we go. Who's gonna win? Go in the car. Here we go. Here we go. I get hit in here. Here we go. This is this three, is. two. One, dot portion. What the hell is it doing? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and why am I headlights? Oh, I'm not even in the groove. That would have been a good start. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Three, this is it. two, one, go. Uh, and we've already had a prank. You can go around this time. Off you go. Actually, the grabber might reach. Oh. Okay. Made it. Here we go. Restart. Three, two, yep, one. Yep, it's working. Door portion. What happened? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here Three, we go. This is it. This two, is it. one, go. Bro. Oh. The Audi, Audi. Oh, this is the Audi. 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 There you go, McLaren. You go. I'll be behind. Oh, thank you, Mark. Oh, no.
time by Views Garage. Fastest lap by Views Garage. What? Lamborghini did a personal best lap time. There is Lamborghini no Lamborghini in this race. <laughs> you mental software. <laughs> what is it on about? Lamborghini. There is no Lamborghini on that list. Well, hang on. No, Porsche. Audi and McLaren. There is no Lamborghini. What is it on about? Very funny. Three, two, Here we go. one, go. And by crash. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, wait for it. I'll squeeze around there. You can stay put. Don't fall over anything. Reset. Anyone else crashed? Ah, I think it stood on a spider. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I don't think he's. Don't eat the tire. Don't eat the tire. Two what? Tires. The dog's eating the tires. <laughs> Everyone's there. You that you can go there so it doesn't get stuck. Okay, let's hit the go button. Gosh, and this is our third attempt. Three, two, one. What's happened? Jumpstart. Jump okay, let's reset. Here we go. We're, we're halfway through. I'll breeze more than halfway Three, two, one, I'm catch it. go. I can't. go as planned <laughs> of course had I have used this car they wouldn't have had a chance now would they so I was being nice you know, I was being a good host <laughs> um, we've got a few repairs to do though isn't that fun um, well that's two seasons of 10 episodes just like that can you believe it it has flown by so quickly and uh, it's, yeah, it's definitely been a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to take a little break after this week, only a short one. Be back with a third season. I'm going to time it though so that the tenth episode in the third season will line up with Christmas. We'll have a special Christmas episode. We might actually have some presents to open, even even though it'll be the day before or the night before or the weekend before. We'll have some slot car related present. You know, what's in the present? Show us your present. We'll, we'll fly them open and see what we get. That could be fun. Bring in some little Santas and some little Christmas lights and reindeers and whatnot. Yeah, should be cool. Um, and I might get a few uh, Christmas messages. I'll, I'll start getting in contact with people and we'll get some get them to record some Christmas messages. We'll, We'll string them all together and it it could be fun. But I'm going to time season three. So, yeah, the final season, sorry, final episode of season three lines up with, with the Christmas holiday. That'll be fun. Um, so I'll still post some videos each week. I'm only going away for a couple of weeks. I'm going to rethink what do we do next? And that is a good question. What do we do next? 
Hmm. I might. Do I know? Do I do a brand new opener? I, I like the opener as it uh, it, it is. The, the very original opener. There were no lights, and it was shot on an iPhone 11. It looked terrible. But the current opener is pretty good. Do we need to upgrade it? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But anyway, thanks for coming along on this journey so far. The track has certainly evolved this season. We did the, the warp mural. We did the Ferris wheel. What else did we do? All the extra little bits of scenery. It's been quite a journey. Lots more on the way. More racing on the way. I've, I'm starting to get in contact with a lot of people and we're teeing things up. So things are gonna get pretty exciting. Uh, and that includes having some people over to have some serious races, some fun. Another thing I'd like to do is more of those road trips. That little Father's Day jaunt up to the, the hobby store was fun, but I, I didn't ask, I hadn't called ahead and asked for permission to record in this store, hence why I was sort of in and out. But what was interesting is they never display slot cars in that that opening uh, display cabinet. We opened the door and there it, there they were. There was the McLaren. That's a first. They had tons of stock. They also had tons of customers, which is not usual for that store. There's usually only one or two in there at any given time. So to all the YouTube slot car community, these last few months, we are making a difference. Now, the retailers won't admit that. The car, the uh, the slot car manufacturers probably won't admit it. They're not the ones generating the buzz. When have you seen their advertising? That are advertising on TV. I haven't seen any slot car ads running on TV or the like. They got a little bit of a social media presence, but it's a bit meh. Blink and you'll miss it. No, the ones who are generating this sudden interest in this hobby is us. We're doing this. We're creating a buzz. So let's keep it going. Uh, and I would like, I, I, I do hope that the retailers realize that and uh, start reaching out to try and get involved in this buzz because it does directly affect them, doesn't it? All right, to finish off, let's have a repeat performance of the very fast, very furious BMW versus McLaren, except this is a different version. This version has no commentary. Now, I hope you've all watched that video so you know what's going on, because without commentary, you're gonna be like, why is there McLaren suddenly out there? Why are there four BMWs? What's that Ferrari doing out there? So go back and watch it if you get confused, it'll all make sense. But for this episode, for this um, replay, uh, this, this version is one I was mucking around with when I was doing the edit of that, and I thought, this is really good without the commentary as well, if you know what's going on. So the, the sound effects are cranked. It's all about just watching the cars in all their glory, the shots, the movement. It's, it's really good viewing. So I thought it'd be the perfect bookend to this season. It kind of sums up everything, you know, the, the creation of the scenery, the installation of the lights, the whole bit. It's like a celebration of all your good work, isn't it? So watch this one back. Have fun with it. Thanks again for coming along on this journey and we'll see you again shortly, soon. Give me a little break. Take a breath or two or three. Um, oh, and keep an eye out on Conquest and Track Fans TV. I'm going to be appearing on both of their live streams soon, probably next week or the week after or one after that. Uh, that should be lots of fun. We'll make it as crazy and zany as we can and who knows what else. So uh, see you next season for Hughes Garage Slot Car Adventures.
Okay, and to finish off today, yes indeed. Okay, well to finish off, here's something special. I'm going to give you a, indeed. Okay, well to finish off today, ah. take whatever it is. Oh, this shot's gonna look fantastic. Shit, my finger! Oh, bloody hell! Oh, that hurt.